everybody, my name is Dr. Melissa Shambot and this is Raygate. We're here to talk to you about dog education. In our last segment, we talked a little bit about different things that education dogs do. They can visit schools, they can visit libraries, they can do therapy work with different types of children and adults. In this segment, we're gonna talk a little bit more about how to work with children and adults. We often think about the whole child. When we're working with children and adults, we wanna make sure we help to reach and teach them in all of the developmental domains. We have the social domain where people learn to interact with one another, to take turns and to share. In the emotional domain, adults and children can express their feelings or talk about past or present events. In the cognitive domain, that's where we do a lot of thinking, we do critical thinking, we talk about different kinds of experiences that are happening, and we help children and adults to become problem solvers. In the creative domain, children and adults have an opportunity to express themselves through the arts, dramatic arts, visual arts, drawing, painting. We also have the physical domain where people interact with the, uh, others, where people interact with others using the, both their small, their fine motor skills to draw or write or eye-hand coordination, as well as their gross or large motor skills where they learn to balance and coordinate and move around. When we think about how to connect dogs with children and adults, we want to keep in mind the whole child and make sure that we're educating the entire human being. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the cognitive domain and how we can help children and adults think about the dogs that they work with. In today's dog ed lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about dog breeds and we're going to use Reggae as our model. Reggae is an Australian Labradoodle, which is a mix of different types of dogs. Some of the foundation breeds that Reggae has been bred with are the Lab and the Poodle. Many of you have probably heard of those breeds. When we think about how to help foster and facilitate children and adults thinking around these areas, we might want to include some books about the foundation breeds. Reggae comes from a lab and a poodle, as well as other types of dogs mixed in to get this kind of fleecy coat. That's what makes him an Australian Labradoodle. But when we think about his foundation breeds, we can begin to talk a little bit about what are some of the characteristics or attributes that we would see with each of these dogs. We know that a lab often has short hair. My friends with labs say their dog sheds a lot, so we could add that to the list too. Short hair and sheds. Many Labrador Retrievers are service dogs, so we could add that to the list too. But I remember just being out this past weekend and saw a poodle who was also a service dog. We were at the Can Do Canine Woofaroo event and we saw several standard poodles that were also service dogs. In this area here where the circles overlap, I'm gonna put all of the attributes or characteristics of these dog breeds that are in common so they can be service dogs. People often associate the lab with hunting. I bet some of you have a hunting dog or know a hunting dog who's a Labrador Retriever. Did you know too that poodles were also hunters? In fact, they are also water retrievers. So that's something I'm gonna put in the middle here. Oftentimes, in the past especially, poodles were involved in retrieving things from water. That's in part why they have that curly coat. That would be something that I would put over on the poodle side. Most poodles, or a lot of poodles, have a curlier coat. So whereas the lab has short hair that sheds, poodles have curly hair that grows out and eventually needs to be groomed. Another thing we know about poodles is that they make good companion dogs. They're loyal, they're friendly, and they like to spend time with their owners. That's true of the labs too. I'd say both breeds are friendly. Another thing we know about poodles is they can be really good at agility. They can go on dog walks, they can go over uh, A-frames, um, they can go through hoops. A lot of times poodles in particular can be agility dogs or do different kinds of dog sports. We also know that labs enjoy sports as well. Labs can be hunters. Labs really like to swim. Some poodles still like to swim from their past as a water retriever. Oftentimes now some of the poodles, both the toy poodle and the standard poodle, aren't that interested in swimming anymore. So both these breeds are very loyal and I've added that to the center column. You can find out a lot about studying your dog's breeds. You can find out a lot about their past, present and future. Thank you for tuning into this segment of Dog Education.